Hello, folks. My name is Detroit Mirico, and I'd like to welcome you all to this episode of Relationship Facts. Yes, uh huh. I'll quite simply title this one The Wet Spot. Yeah, people, it comes a time in every relationship that a couple is going to have to deal with that very factor, which is the wet spot. And it is an unavoidable and undeniable fact. I think in life initially we are conditioned to be water creatures in a way. We're brought into this world through the process of liquefaction because it is very moist and liquefied inside of a woman's stomach and a baby sits there for some time in the wet spot. So when a baby is brought out of that region, which is a watery dwelling place, he is brought into a much dry atmosphere. Yes, I'm going to say he or she. And then the baby knows that dramatically and drastically something has changed. And then they're like, well, it's dry out here. But eventually that baby will be brought into a wet environment again when the mother babes it, being him or her. So yeah, the baby grows up knowing the fact that he and she must get clean by taking baths in order to do that. So they're brought into more wetness. Now as an adult, of course, or adults, they must take showers and baths in order to get clean. But no one likes to sleep on a wet spot. No one likes to wear wet clothing because it can be very uncomfortable and we come to feel that way now if you're sleeping in a bed you want all of it to be dry because you roll around you're in dry clothes and you have to be comfortable so at that time there's no wet spot there now if you get into a relationship just say for instance a guy meets a woman and then they have relationships in that bed, things are going to get incredibly wet and moist there. So the sheets are going to be liquefied. And if you get on that, it's going to be uncomfortable. Yeah. It is an undeniable truth that that is going to happen. Now, you have two options. When it does, the couple can get a coin out and flip it and say, Tails or tails, heads and tails, heads or tails, rather. I'll sleep on this wet spot. And if you get the other one, the other side of the coin, you sleep on the wet spot. That's an option. Or quite simply, both can, can get up and then change the sheets and put more drier ones down and then jump on it. And everybody is dry and happy again. But... With that being the case, sometime at that very night later on, the couples might want to get real close and central again. So they're going to be back where they started because another wet spot is going to be made. So look, I'm saying this quite simply to save time. Just deal with the wet spot and jump in and swim because in relationships, you must make sacrifices at times. And guys, don't get bent out of shape because of the wet spot. You knew what you were getting into. And there is a, um, what would you call that, a price for every action and interaction. And you must deal with the interactions of a resorting from it. So, so people... Deal with the wet spot, take the wet spot, you know, and tolerate it because there were benefits that made it and peace out.